Hi, over the next couple days what I'd like to do is produce uh, several short videos on the new masking features of Lightroom. We talk about them all the time, it's linear gradient, radio gradient, do this, do that, but we never really took the time to show exactly what each one does. So I'm going to spend just a few minutes on each one of them so we can get a basic understanding of each how, gradient and how they're used. The first one we want to start with is our linear gradient. We're going to go up to our masking button here, turn on our masking tools, and we're going to grab the linear gradient. When it does that, we get a cross here for an icon. We're going to place the icon where we want to start our gradient and we want to drag down. When we drag down, what we get is a gradient that gradually gets more powerful as it goes up, as it goes up towards the red dot. The red dot means the full effect of the gradient has been applied there. Now, if we do the same thing with a linear gradient and we go and we pull up instead of down, then everything in red gets affected at the bottom part of the uh, linear gradient. So let's go back, do the linear gradient again. We're going to try to affect the sky, so we want to click and drag down. The further we drag down, the milder or softer our feather gets on our gradient. So we'll stop about right here. And what we see is that everything that's in dark red gets the full effect and it gradually uh, moves down to the zero effect line. So at the very center is our 50% line. Anything from this line to this line goes from 50 to 100%. And of course, anything above this line is a solid 100% as we make changes. From the center line to the bottom line goes from 50 to 0. So once we hit this line, there is no effect. Once we make a change, once the gradient has been applied, so we'll make a change with our exposure, the red goes away. Right? That's our overlay. And we have ways to change that, and we can talk about that at a later time. So if we make a change to our gradient, you can see that the sky is getting the full effect up above, and nothing is getting affected down here. Now, if you want to make the gradient milder, all you have to do is grab either the upper or lower button and stretch it out. When you do that, less of the effect is put in the trees, even less is down in the green. And the gradient is gradually affected up here in the top. So if we look at this as uh, black and white, let's say, we can see that the black is where nothing gets affected and the white gets all the effect. And as we widen out our gradient, you can see how it goes from white to gray to black at a much slower rate. Whereas if we made this smaller, it goes from white to black very short. And it won't look very natural if we were to uh, increase the temperature. You can see right here, we have a, a stark change and it's, it's really not very effective. So we'll just drag it out right like this. So once you get your uh, gradient in place, you can make the exposure change you want or add contrast and, and shadows and maybe add a little clarity, make those tr uh, clouds pop out a little more. Now, once you get all the changes you want, you have one more slider you can use. And everybody always seems to forget this one, but uh, there we have an amount slider. And this allows you to edit your edits, basically. So once you have all your changes in place, if you think, well, I like the full effect. I like all the sliders. I like the effect they're giving me. I just don't want all of it applied. So what this is, is a master effect. So it allows you to bring down the full effect. And it moves each one of these appropriately instead of just the exposure slider. So when we do the exposure slider, you're just moving ex exposure. But when you use a mount, you're affecting all those sliders in equal amounts, which makes that effect a whole lot better. Uh, now, there's one other uh, trick I want to show you when you're applying your um, linear gradient. Uh, if we choose our linear gradient and we hold our shift key down and then we drag, it will drag a perfectly level line for us. All right. If we keep the shift key held down and move left or right, we will get a 90 degree change. Once you let the shift key uh, go, then you're on your own again by using this little uh, change angle icon right down here. As in any uh, mask that we apply, you have the ability to modify the mask. So if I 
put this mask on and we'll show our overlay and let's say I didn't want these trees you have the ability to subtract with a brush you can clear off the mask any remember anywhere there's no red the mask isn't applied you also can uh, subtract by color you could say uh, I want this color taken away you can see it takes a color away so there's different ways you can modify the mask and that's something we can cover later on but just the basic use of the linear just drag it in place, make your changes, and you'll be good to go.